that tone, it's a real money in the room. When was the first time you popped a Percocet? Uh, watch this. Uh, don't lie. Nah, I'm finna tell you right now. Watch this. This how this how real this shit is. I popped up my first Percocet was November 18, 2018. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. It was my first Percocet November 18, 2018, because I got signed in LMO Records. November 15th, 2018, and I was locked in with the Dominican in um, New York, and they introduced me to a yellow Percocet 10. You know, the ones with the little symbol on them, like the yellow ones, like they don't even got them out here. And I popped that and like far as going back to the interview when I was talking about CPS and how I used to have to walk to mornings and get um, hot links and sandwiches and shit, like I grew up faster than a lot of like, so it was just like, when I was in New York, like when I popped that, it just seemed like all my problems went away. It just seemed like um, everything was easier. It just seemed like I f longer. It just seemed like everything was good. See what I'm saying? So it's just like when the next day came, I'm like, oh, I'm trying to feel like that. See what I'm saying? So when I asked the Dominican, like, where them at? They sell them. So of course they're going to sell them to me. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So I popped it that day. And then, you know, I bought a house in New York, a two story. So it's just like I was popping them every day, every day. But Really, ain't no, it, it wasn't no big homie figure out there because these don't know me from a can of paint. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying they ain't finna tell me, oh, bitch, you know, you pop this whoop whoop, you gonna have withdrawals, your stomach gonna be hurting, you gonna be on the floor sweating, you gonna be rather dying than this. You gonna look like 50 Cent off that movie on God. Other than you popping these perks, you need to stay focused. So I say that's a lot of me. That's a lot of me getting pushed back from rap too. And then it was just like with rap, a lot of was saying and rapping about the that we allegedly doing for real, see what I'm saying? So it was just like, I really too much didn't want to rap because it was just like, y'all capping and we not, and then make it look like everybody capping. See do what you, I'm saying? Do you feel like Percocet slowed down your rap career? For sure. Yeah. Because on Percocet, you can ask my partners in here, like on Percocet, I'm too much not going nowhere. Take me home on the set, I'm finna go pop a perk, lay down, smoke a blunt, watch a movie with my bitch. I'm not finna do none of that. On the set, I'm not finna go to no studios, I'm not finna post no music. It got to a time where my fans was like, damn, do you rap still? Like, see what I'm saying? It was just like a lot of that. But when Wody was alive, like, Wody was gonna make a rap. We finna go to the studio, we finna do this. See what I'm saying? We finna do that. Oh, we finna go to LA for my birthday, we finna shoot some videos. So it was just like the Percocet slowed me down a lot. See what I'm saying? But now, it's just like I don't do no drugs. I just drink liquor. You're so off of Percocet now. I'm off of Percocet. I'm off of weed. I'm off of drink. I don't do no drugs. Like how I, long you been sober? What's today? The 16th, February 16th. I stopped. I stopped doing all that shit in January 6th of last month. How do you feel now? Sober. See what I'm saying? Like I can go to sleep sober. Like I get sleepy like around nine or ten. See what I'm saying? Like. Mm -hmm. With, with them drugs, like with weed and perks, like if I ain't had that, I couldn't go to sleep all night. And that's the worst feeling in the world. Like all the other withdrawals, I like going to sleep, bro. Like I don't like being up all night and looking and damn, who got some weed on Instagram four in the morning? Oh damn, I gotta go over here to the east side. I'm on Brian Irvin. I gotta go to the east side to get some yurks. Oh, these sleep, bro, I don't like that. So at the same time, it's just like now, I can go to sleep, bro. I don't need no blunt. I don't need no backwood. I don't need none of that. On the set, I just need, like, my mind, bro, on the set, that's all I need, bro. And every day now, it's just like I'm getting up, getting outside, getting back to how I was in 2018. So I'm saying? The way that got me signed. So what I'm saying? So it was just like you right recently, now. You recently went live um, with with uh, advice and ideas for, for fellow rappers and anybody that do drugs or pop perks sex. So yeah. now you're like an advocate for rappers to stop popping perks. Yeah. Um, how did that come about? Cause it was just like, when I had posted that shit, that I was free, that I was free of Percocet, and I wasn't too much even free. I really was just like two weeks free, but it, but anybody know when you pop perks, two weeks free is a long time. See what I'm saying? Like a month from a month and some change from me being free, that's a long time for a, a, a dauphine or whatever they want to call it, a perk pop or a perk head. That's a long time. See what I'm saying? Cause Perk, um, that pop perks, you need that shit every day. Every day, like, I got to a point, like, withdrawals will stop. Like, if you don't take a perk all day, tomorrow you're going to start having withdrawals. I got to a point, like, if I don't pop a perk in 
If I pop a perk and it wear down in five hours, if I don't got that in like four, five hours, I'll start withdrawing right then. See what I'm saying? So that's getting too strong. And then like I'm going to spots. It's like and they shaking their head like, like you need to get back to yourself. You need to get back on this rap. Like it's like my little cousin, they, they were selling perks. See what I'm saying? So it was just like, I go over there and I'm like, hey, I give him a 20. I'm like, hey, give me two of them. He like, I ain't got none. Boom, boom, boom. Like, but I just seen you with a thousand of them. Bitch. See what I'm saying? I just seen you come in the house with a thousand of them. How you don't got none? But it just got to that point where they like, I ain't selling these to you no more. Like, but then in my head, it just feel like, bitch, I feel like a crackhead now. Like, I'm there finna fight my little cousin because he ain't trying to sell me none. But it just like, I'm going to another spot on the southwest side trying to get some. And these niggas crying and shit. Like, nah, bitch, I don't want to see you like this. I don't want to woo woo woo. But they not knowing I'm not taking them for trying to get high. I'm taking them for not to feel like this. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So it was just like, if I can get back to my normal self, I'd never touch one of them again. See what I'm saying? So it was just like that on God. It was just like that with Percocet. So now you're clean off of Percocet and you're back active, um, back being Kenny B. Yeah. So what do you see yourself in two years? Two years, I feel like, well, I'ma manifest this shit. I feel like I'ma be big as shit, like on Dirk and them level and shit. Like when we just talking about Dirk and Ryan Wave on my label and shit. I just feel like I'ma be up there cause I'm in my selfish mode right now. Like a year, a uh, couple months ago, like I used to stay hitting up my partners like, hey, let's go to the studio, let's do this. And they bullshit, see what I'm saying? Like I used to stay trying to help or call Mad Max or put niggas on for this interview or put niggas on for this. But right now I'm in my selfish mode like, if you see my videos now, it's too much not no in my videos. Like, it's just me and my shit, because I'm not finna beg no to come to shit. See what I'm saying? I'm not finna beg nobody or, or if you fuck with me, you gonna fuck with me. See what I'm saying? That's just that. See what I'm saying? So, I just feel like a lot of shit, even when I signed the deal, you remember, you remember, oh God, I'm coming back, you used to look at me shaking your head. I used to come buying the whole hood shoes, coming and buying the whole, taking the whole hood out to eat, spending all my money, you used to be like, Man, I used to be like, boy, that's my money, boy. I'm um, God, I'm finna do this for my family and boom, boom, boom. But the whole time it's just like, you gotta be in selfish mode at all times. Like, even if a motherfucker looking at you like, man, that nigga ain't that switched up when he boom, 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 bro. That's how you get to the next level, bro. You gotta think about you. You can't think about no other niggas, cause ain't no other niggas finna think about you, bro. Ain't no other niggas finna, hey, I got this, uh, I got this interview right here, bitch. um, come do this. Or I got this video shoot right here, bitch. come pop out. Ain't nobody finna do that, bro, on the set. So it's just like, I feel like I'm a cancer. So it's just like, I got a big heart. So it just feel like, all right, if I'm on this platform, I got a hundred some thousand followers on Instagram, I'm finna put my partners on, see what I'm saying? But I'm not in a position to put my partners on, see what I'm saying? I just feel like I'm hood famous, I'm local. Like a lot of people like, and we just went to Vegas on God. We just went to Vegas and stay. You Kenny B. Woo woo, we going to Targets and shit. Like in Vegas on the strip, they you Kenny B. Like a lot of places other than her know me. See what I'm saying? So that give me a thought. I just went to Urban Air today on Wody. It's like 10 white boys in there on Jesus Day. You Kenny B. That just give me a thrill to go harder. See what I'm saying? Because if, if it's 10 white boys in here, that means I can get 10 Mexicans. I can get 10 Asians. See what I'm saying? I can get 10. Japan, like, it's just like that, bro. You got to think about it like that, bro. You can't think about it like, oh, I'm a tough-ass nigga. I'm hard. I'm finna do this. I'm finna rock out and shoot videos. Like, ask Half Paint. Every video I used to shoot used to be at the Berry Store. So I'm saying? Half Paint had to tell me, I'm not shooting no more of your videos at the Berry Store. If you, if you, if you, you remember that? If you send me the address to the Berry Store, I'm not coming. You remember that paint? Like, we not doing no more Berry Stow videos, bro. You just did like 10 in a row at the Berry Stow. Like, think outside the box, bro, on the set. Like, so it's just like, I just got to think outside the box. Even when it comes to my cousins, even when it comes to people close to me, bro, I can't think for y'all, bro. I got to think for me. Then when I get to this level, I can think for y'all. See what I'm saying? Then when I get to this level, I can, oh, bitch, her, her go a buzz down for you stand down. Her go this for you stand down. But I got to get to that point. I can't do that right now. And that was my problem. I was trying to do that right now. See what I'm saying? I only got signed for a couple, couple, um, not a couple thousand, but you know, I got signed for like 7,500,000. See what I'm saying? So it was just like, when I came back, I'm thinking that's some money because I ain't had shit going to the label. See what I'm saying? I was spending your money going to the label. See what I'm saying? So when they said that big amount, I'm like, oh yeah, we finna ball. But the whole time now I'm older, I'm like, 
that's not no money, bro. Like, I'm buying everybody the new 11s that come out. I'm taking everybody out to eat. And who appreciated me for that? <laughs> nobody, bro. On a set, like, nobody going to, ain't nobody going to appreciate what you do for them. It's just beneficial to everybody. It's just like, oh, yeah, he doing this or he doing that. That's what he supposed to do. Nah, I could have, I could have went and took that 80,000 and bust down my mouth. I could have went and took that 100,000 and bust down my wrist. I could have bought new chains and shit and said, F everybody. See what I'm saying? But I didn't know I was a real n I was still, well, I felt like I was a real n at the time. Like, that don't make you a real n coming back in woo woo when you don't got it. See what I'm saying? Like, I really didn't have it at the time. See what I'm saying? So it was just like, right now, you got to be in selfish mode. So in two years, I just feel like I'm going to be way bigger than what I am because I'm drug free. I want to say that weed was slowing me down. Everything was slowing me down. That beat was slowing me down. It's just like now, I just feel like everything, you know, Supreme, you know, I used to didn't want to pay for because I felt like I was that boy on the set. I'm like, video, you better shoot my video. I'm Kenny B. I'm God, I'm going to clubs and, oh, yeah, you better play my I'm him on the set. But now you can ask my partners. I'm going to club chunking 20s and 40s of dollars. Hey, just play this song for me just so I can get a video on my Instagram for it can look like this. So I'm saying you just got to have a brain for this. You don't got no brain for this. You too much not going to go. Your music can be the hardest in the world. If you don't got no marketing and promoting, bro, your shit on. That's going to be dead. Hey, real tone, it's a real money in the room. Hey, real tone, it's a real money in the room.